Have you ever find yourself in a situation where all your services running inside the Kubernetes cluster and now you need to provide the ways how we can expose those services to outside world? Ingress management is an important part of application configuration and operations. Once the service is to exposed to outside world, one needs to take care of authorization, observability, encryption, and integration with third-party services. My name is Viktor Gamov and I'm a developer advocate with Kong. And in this video, I will show you how you can supercharge your deployment with Kong Gateway plugins using Kong Ingress Controller. So let's get to it. In my previous video, you can find this here in the Kong uh, YouTube channel, I introduced you concept of the quote service, small application that generates random quotes with some popular pop cultural subjects, including Back to Future, Chuck Norris, and so far and so on. I'll continue to explore this application today, and we're adding some extra functionality without even changing the code of this application. So let me remind you what I was talking about. So I do have a two services deployment. It's a Back to Future service that has a deployment. Essentially, this is my image of my application. I have service that makes this application available inside the Kubernetes, and I do have an ingress configured that allows this application to be accessed from outside world. Same thing available for my Chuck Norris quotes or facts service here. I have a deployment, I do have a service that exposes inside Kubernetes cluster, and I do have an ingress configured here. Don't mind these comments, I will explain this in a few minutes. So let me test these services here. So first one, back to future, my Kubernetes cluster provides me external IP. So I can click here and I get access to the data. And let me click a few more times. It looks like it is indeed uh, my back to future quote. For Chuck Norris, I do have a similar service here as well. So when I click here, I'll get the access to uh, Chuck Norris service. Let me uh, show you how we can extend this uh, deployment by introducing some of the plugins. So the first plugin that I will be using today called Rate Limiting. Imagine we have a service that is exposed something to outside world and uh, we want to provide multiple tiers of service for our customers. Some customers who don't um, have a subscription with us, we will limit number of API calls that they can invoke. And some of the customers who have a paid subscription with us, we can increase number of requests that they can do or provide different SLA. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. So rate limiting plugin is a part of the Quonk Gateway plugin uh, that part of the open source installation. So you can use it freely without any uh, problems. And the uh, cool thing about about this when you go to the documentation link below you can find a snippet how we can enable this in kubernetes so this is what we're going to be doing right now i need to create a plugin called a rate free tier and uh, this plugin will be using this rate limiting plugin from Kong. so i will go ahead and apply this into my kubernetes cluster as you can see it's just a kub control apply command and the one of the things that we want to see here is that Kong Ingress Controller installs multiple the customer sources. And one of the customer source that we're using is Kong plugin. That's what we're using today. So this Kong plugin is a customer source and uh, we configured this service that will be using this plugin. We'll have only five requests per minute and uh, we will be limiting them based on IP address of the service. We're gonna be using local policy means that uh, it will store information about uh, IP address and the session in the memory, but also you can uh, use a different policy here. You can store this somewhere in the Redis. It would be more persistent and more ready for deployment in production. So let's enable this in our ingress. So in this case, I'm going here in my uh, ingress that was uh, created for the service of Back to Future and enable this by applying this annotation conk.com slash plugins and rate free tier. Same plugin that I created here, rate free tier. So I'm go ahead, click apply. So in this case, the change uh, will be applied to my request. And if I switch back to Insomnia and try to hit my back to future service, we see we're still getting those responses. But if we will investigate headers, what we'll see here, there is now rate limiting header 
and uh, as a matter of fact there's a few of those uh, that can tell you when this next time this uh, rate limit will be reset and uh, how many what's the total limit and how many ipi hits we still have so if i will call this a few more time let's do this with repeating this interval every second so i click the start it's all good all good and now i'm start getting too many requests respond because my requests are expired so let's enable uh, some other plugins for our other service so let's investigate how we can uh, supercharge our chuck Norris service so five uh, requests per minute is not enough however with the enabling some of the paid subscription we can increase number of requests for this service so let's configure paid plugin for chuck Norris. Another thing that I want to somehow distinguish that this is the uh, user that comes into the system is actually registered and I need to know that it's actually have um, the specific credentials um, that they allow to allow to access the service anyway. So in this case, we're gonna be using this um, a plugin called Key Auth plugin, also available for free. Key Authentication. This is the plugin that is um, free, uh, free and open source. And uh, you can also find how we can define this in your Kubernetes cluster. This is very handy feature that available in documentation. So in my case, I will do here is enable this plugin. Let me enable everything here. And now I have this plugin enabled. The next thing that we also need to create here is the Kong consumer. That uh, Kong plugin will bind between plugin and uh, between our service and this is how we establish this integration with some internal storage in this particular case we're going to be using kubernetes secret to store our key even though it's not a super secure thing but it's demonstrate the purpose how we can enable this plugin and the next thing is that we also apply in the plugin that will provide a rate limiting for paid customer so let's try to run this once again so when i go in here i just click send and i'm still having no problems hitting this next thing is that i need to do i need to upgrade my ingress configuration here and uh, the couple things that i need to add here we'll add this gradually so when i click here now i get this no api key found in request so we need to add this as a header here so i will have here API key and my secret phrase please when I click send I'm getting invalid credentials so in this case I didn't create the secret that will include this and we will change this in a second I'll run this plugins so this is the simple command that will create the secrets uh, it will create the generic secret for user API key. This user API key will be used by con consumer. And this is what we're going to be using as our key phrase. So if I run this again, I have everything what I need, but we still don't have a rate limiting capability. So let me enable this in a plugin. I'm going into ingress for ingress. I need to do name of the plugin here is rate pay tier going here and i'll just do apply now when i click here what i see here that i have a bunch of new headers here one of the headers says uh, i have a uh, 10 requests and if i will continue i will get too many requests because i sent all 10 requests so now my service is protected by this special key but also we limited number of requests that uh, one can issue against. Let me show you another use case. For example, we have uh, some of the uh, users who use our services and they pay extra. They belong to some platinum service level and we allow them to perform 100 requests per minute for this. So how we can distinguish one from like regular uh, user account and the platinum? So we can use another combination of these plugins that I just showed you. In my platinum tier example, I do have a couple things. I'm enable another key off plugin. Uh, in this case, it will be Chuck Norris uh, who uh, will be accessing this one because Chuck Norris is our platinum customer. So we want him to have uh, all uh, good things. We have the best service. So in this case, we're creating this key off plugin for him. We're going to be using Chuck Auth uh, secret that we created here earlier. So that's what we're going to be using here. And another thing that we're going to be using here is that a consumer 
that will be configured and connected to this particular plugin. So Platinum Pay Tier, it's my plugin that also using rate limiting. It's limited by consumer, not the IP address that we've seen this in the past. And uh, now we have 100 requests per minute. So I will go ahead and enable this one. Plugins were created and now I need to go and check uh, if I can enable this plugin here as well. So I'm going into my ingress, adding this another plugin. Uh, as you can see, I'm applying these plugins to same ingress. It will be available through the same path. This is how we can enable different rules for your different applications. So let me enable this one here as well. So when I click here, I'm still getting my 10 requests because I'm accessing this API call through same old paid tier with uh, please keyword. But what about Platinum? For Platinum user, we have this special keyword called Roundhouse Kick. And uh, with the Roundhouse Kick, we have now 100 requests per minute. So this is how we establish this Platinum SLA level for our special user. And that would be it for today. Today, I showed you how you can enable plugin on uh, routes, how you can enable cascade of plugins or, or chain multiple plugins, enable uh, simple authentication uh, using key auth, and enable uh, multiple levels of accessing certain level of API. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit this like button if you like the content that what we're doing, enable notifications so you will not miss uh, new videos that come in and uh, new live streams that come in uh, in the Kong YouTube channel. And with this, my name is Victor Gamov and as always, have a nice day.